time for today's face off on Fox Soul. Challengers Quan LX and Big Angry Adams ready to go blow by blow on those hot topics. Face off on Fox Soul starts right now. I want to acknowledge that I have been a steadfast participant in this diet culture through my platforms, through the magazine, through the talk show for 25 years, through online. I've been a major contributor to it. I cannot tell you how many weight loss shows and makeovers I have done. And they have been a staple since I've been working in television. I've shared how that famous wagon of fat moment on the Oprah show is one of my biggest regrets. It sent a message that starving yourself with a liquid diet set a standard for people watching that I nor anybody else could uphold. And I've, I've said this before, the very next day, the next day, I began to gain the weight back. In this round, here's Quanell X. So, Charles, one of the most prominent talk show hosts, or television personalities in America, and perhaps the top in black America, Sister Oprah Winfrey, is now apologizing to the world and to the women of this nation because she pushed diet culture. And Oprah's target has always been women. Her audience has always been targeted toward women. Her platforms, what she puts out there, targets women. And so now she's apologizing for telling big women and a lot of obese fat women that being on a diet or participating in diet culture, something's wrong with that. I don't think she should apologize. She was a very big woman, fat woman for many years. Now that she's taken Ozempic and admitted to it, she's lost that weight. Will she then return? If she stopped taking Ozempic to being big as she's historically had a problem with. Charles, we have to be honest in America with our women since we're talking about Oprah and women. We got to stop telling women being fat is fine. Stop digging our graves with our teeth. Over 65% of all deaths in America can be linked to poor dietary habits. So it shouldn't be called a diet at some point. There needs to be a lifestyle change with how you eat. We all struggle with our weight. We all struggle with staying healthy and taking care of controlling our weight and not being sickly. But what is she apologizing for? You see all these big women on Instagram walking around with huge, big old butts, many of them fake as hell. But they got these huge, big old butts thinking they're fine, but if they pull them clothes off, cellulite fall everywhere, look like cottage cheese on Sunday. Look, man, she shouldn't apologize. We have to inspire young women and women, period, since we're talking about Oprah, to do what's necessary to, to go on a diet, if that's what you want to call it, whatever the hell you want to call it. You got to lose that weight. I think you are completely misconstruing the intent and the messaging that Oprah was sending. I, I, Oprah has, has, you know, obviously she has lost weight recently uh, with Ozempic, as many people have, uh, but I think she was talking about spending her lifetime being a shill and a saleswoman for a number of fad diets, and you've seen herself. She's ballooned and lost and ballooned and lost, and the, the instance with the, the little kid's wagon full of fat, full of meat, uh, that happened years and years ago, and she had gotten incredibly thin from a crash diet. So what I think she was speaking to was not about the obesity problem, but more about, hey, you need to do it in a healthy way. And I will tell you, as someone that was too skinny my whole life from being way too tall, and no matter how much I ate, I couldn't get put on weight, to all of a sudden it was like a light switch, your metabolism changed, and I got way too fat, right? And I am fortunate that I have a physician for my eldest child. And she said, Dad, you know, COVID, it is killing people that are fat with high blood pressure. You need to, you need to get serious about this. And it was something I needed to hear. And I, got, I lost like 70 pounds. Now I'll put Amen. something back on, take it back off. Amen. There is no doubt. I don't disagree with you that being a fat ass is going to kill people. It's killing people, right? Now, I do disagree. Some guys like it. Some women like it. Some, some dudes like, you know, the dudes that like no, dudes like big bears. Wrong. There are that's people that like wrong. it. 
Well, only hobosexual men oh, like on. really come fat on. women. Come on. Hobosexual men are the ones who really like fat okay. women. Anyway. And a lot of brothers but look for fat women flip, when it's tax season. On. When it's tax season, every big old woman got a man when it's tax season. So look, we got to be honest. The hobosexuals want big old fat women. Uh, when it's tax season, the hobosexuals yeah, yeah, yeah. will take them. And the obese yeah. women will take them. Uh, yeah. you're, you're funny, Quanell, but what I'm not I being funny. I'm telling what, the truth. What she Ask the brothers in the hood. It. Look. We also perpetuate some horrible body image issues, and I think that's what she's talking about. When you, you are cellulite. Everybody got cellulite, right? You got that's this, a lie. You got these. Insta, I don't have any. You got man. I just had I somebody at any. the coffee shop telling me you look like you oh, put on weight on TV. No. I literally just had that don't conversation make me pull this coat with off. Kenneth at Starbucks. Don't make me pull but this coat anyhow, off. The thing is, we I'm perpetuate. I'm built like a goddess straight we, out of we, Black we Africa. Perpe- I swear to God, I just said it's hilarious. We perpetuate this culture where women have to be heroin chic, super thin, and that's not healthy either. Why right? It's not. It's, it's not. Being we're, we're, in shape no, is not healthy. Okay, starving yourselves is not healthy, right? There is a happy medium, and Instagram and all these other platforms have all these airbrushed ladies, airbrushed men that look like ladies. And with all- them BBLs. Okay. Deceiving look. folks like they got okay. big behinds. But here's the thing. Because you know how many white girls I've seen with BBLs on Instagram? We being healthy. And you know that ain't real. And, and over, come you on. You know that ain't real. What has always had to be down with Whitey? Like every, look, I Oprah. Didn't mean it that way. Oh, of course you did, you racist. I Oprah. Didn't mean it that look, way. just because you don't love me don't mean I don't love you, all right? Mm. But Oprah is really just talking about being healthy. But she didn't apologize for all those millions she made pushing the diet culture. I I don't know if you She did not apologize for all that money she made pushing the diet culture. You said millions, I think you meant billions. Hello. Billions with a B. I was trying to be a little nice. She, got, she didn't apologize for making that money. She That's also, hypocrisy. She also ain't giving none of it back. You know what you I'm like saying? You like fat women. But do I like fat women? Mm-hmm. No, my wife is in incredible shape. I like fat women. Okay, good for you. See, when so I was, why, no, so why you are you truth. making fun of I'm fat, tell you the truth. fat women? When I was 17 years old and I really had no place to stay, and I really didn't have well, you food well, to when eat. When you were getting child molested by that 50-year-old woman with no, no teeth? I found me a big old fat one, about 350, Man, come on, man. There are people she of all sizes. She kept us There are people attracted to people of all sizes. She was the sweetest sizes. thing I ever had. Look, Matter of fact, Oprah one time I went over there, trying to she pulled that people big old healthy. fat back in her belly and I pulled just, out of sneakers. I'm on, I'm on Team Oprah. She kept chips and sneakers right in that big Oprah. fat. She peeled you it back and took over the cracker. Hey, this, this, she kept me fit. This is just you hating a black woman, man. And kissed, come on. And kissed on her cheek. She Good for you, Oprah. round. Here's Charles Big Angry Adams. Quanell, staying on the topic of food, that was uh, some Princeton students cosplaying oppression, whining about how their hunger strike, their hunger strike, has left them hungry, hot, cold, and immunocompromised. And I like how the three walruses, you see the, the fat guy with the drum and the the fat girl spilling out them jeans, holding her bullhorn, and a little weird looking walrus in between. They said, well, let's get the skinny girl to get up here and cry about Palestine. I don't know what the hell is wrong with America, right? But we've gotten to this point where everyone wants to be oppressed. Every, even these kids at this beautiful Ivy League campus want to get out there and be crybabies, and all, all their professors are applauding them. The media's applauding them. They're all talking about, oh, feed, feed, fat, poor Palestine. You know, now, ain't nobody worried about the women that are still being held hostage in Rafa, which is why. And of course, Hamas has come out today and said, hey, we're not gonna, we're not gonna give nobody back. We were lying. We were lying last week when we said we were gonna enter in some compromise. No compromise. 
And of course, Joe Biden has decided he's on team terrorist. He's like, oh, I'm not going to help Israel anymore. And it's all because of these stupid little crybabies. You want to go on a hunger strike? You know, Cesar Chavez went on a hunger strike. There have been some famous hunger strikes where people have literally starved themselves to death because that's what a hunger strike is. There was no crybaby about it. There was, I'm not eating until you make this change. These children don't want to be on a hunger strike. They want their food catered into them. They want their life to be great. And they also want to be applauded for being, being fighters, for fighting for, for what's right. Now, of course, if they were in Palestine or, or 90% of the Islamist regimes in this country and they protested anything, well, they'd be beaten to death or jailed because you're not allowed to do anything, and especially a woman. She's not allowed to have a voice. This whole thing's disgusting. They need to take their ass to class, and that's about it. To those young students at Princeton University and to this young courageous <laughs> and bold young woman, continue fighting and standing up for Palestine. And I want to say to those students across America, remember when Dr. King was leading his marches? It wasn't old black men and women marching with him. It wasn't even the working class marching with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. because they didn't want to be seen in a parade or seen in a protest march with Dr. King and lose their employment. It was young college students it was young high school students who marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He too went on a hunger strike protesting America's racist policies. Rosa Parks went on a hunger strike when they put her in jail and arrested her for not giving up her seat. Mahanda Gandhi went on one for human rights violations in India, and I have issues with him, but he went on one himself. Americans went on a hunger strike here, students, to protest the apartheid regime in South Africa and to free Nelson Mandela. And all of them were condemned. All of them were called crazy and made mockery of. But history vindicated them. And so I would say okay. to those students, if you stay strong, you stand with God on truth, then God will stand with you in living or dead. History will vindicate you and you will be the winner. Okay, these children aren't going to starve themselves to death because they're out there bitching about not getting free catering from their university. But okay, last week in Darfur, the Islamists, in the, the Arabic Islamists in Darfur took African children, right, the black children, the, the non-Muslims, and they put them in a giant pile, alive, and machine gunned 250 of them to death, right? And that is something that has happened throughout the Islamist world for not decades, but centuries, right, when they have almost absolutely extinguished all Christians and all Jews, everyone, and in fact, a lot of the Islamist violence is sectarian. It's, oh, you're the wrong type of Muslim. You would be the wrong type of Muslim in most of the Islamist world, right? And, and the, but no one, no one's starving themselves over those 250 billion. In fact, the media is not even talking about it because no one cares. All this is veiled anti-Semitism. All no this is cares. veiled anti-Semitism. But why no and, one cares? Uh, uh, no, no one cares because there was a girl. There was a girl whose family was murdered and she was raped and she wrote a book. She's a Yazidi girl whose family was raped and murdered by Islamists, right? She wrote a book. She's doing a book tour, and you know what got canceled last week? Well, it got canceled in Canada because they decided it might promote Islamophobia. No one is allowed Let me say to this. talk about the Let horrible aspects clear with that about dominate something. the Islamist the culture. The reason why the mainstream media is not talking about those children being killed in you Sudan. You weren't talking about it either. Because they're you don't black give a damn. African children. No, no it's because they they're victims children, of Muslim the world violence. Would be talking and no one about cares. It. But he doesn't no one the cares about the hostages. To be honest right, and no. tell you yeah, the you're truth. You're not being if honest. They were white, you don't they Care. Say something. I'm the one that cares about those about kids Muslims. in Japan. You don't care. Raping no, I'm and talking killing. about Islamists. Well, what about Islamists who you applaud? Oh, you mean hundreds right of here years in ago? America. You mean in hundreds in of years ago? In the 1960s okay. and okay. 70s it's, it's, that raped black okay. women and hey. murdered and hung their hey. husbands I, I, I in front it. of get, those black men. Right like here in the deep south in America, your so-called white Christian brothers did the same thing you accused of those Islamists of. And in Guantanamo Bay, those military white men and our military, did the same thing our military came men down in Guantanamo and stood Bay. guard for those you children can't come in Little with me Rock. With that. Little Rock, no, I'll come with I'll you. Because I'll wear your backside out. You know what you did on October 7th? 
No, oh, I didn't. Oh, well, they, no, they're being I did a not. You didn't. I don't watch. believe you, in that. You said, oh, I don't believe they were in that. fighting oppression. That is a no one cares Islam about the hostages. To kill These little people. pigs in Princeton, well, don't. The Palestinians you know are suffering. I want peace. Their you know kids what? are suffering. Hey, what? Guess what happened? Almost 40,000 dead. Almost 40,000 dead. When you murder a bunch of people and won't release hostages, you know what stops? And you Release the hostages and all this stuff. You are undercover white supremacy. You know what? You hate everyone but you. When you thought things couldn't get any crazier, the people at the top got my eye twitching again. The Boy Scouts of America have just announced that they're changing their name after 114 years to Scouting of America to be more inclusive. Newsflash, guys, the Boy Scouts was exclusive to boys on purpose. Why are we trying to change anything? Why are we trying to include anything that's not a boy? Also find it super funny that they're leaving the Girl Scouts alone. So if this doesn't scream agenda, I don't know what does. In this round, here's <laughs> Quanell X. Well, Charles, the Boy Scouts of America have decided they're going to change their name to Scouting America. The Pink Mafia has broke their back, and now they're afraid to call the Boy Scouts of America Boy Scouts because Tung Wong Fu has made them bow down except what's politically correct. But I want to say this, since we in the movement of changing names in America, we shouldn't start and stop. We can start here, but Lord, don't stop here. Let's change the name of the White House. Why it's got to be the White House? Why don't we paint it black, red, black, and green? Let make it the diverse house. Let's call it the people's house because the American people don't run the White House no way. So why don't we change the name from the White House to the People's House? Why don't we take down some of these racist founding fathers' names off of schools, off of colleges, and replace their names with more inclusive names since they were slave owners themselves, many of them. So if we gonna change some names, Charles, let's not stop here. There are a whole lot of institutions and organizations with shameful, wretched, ratchet, racist histories that we should be changing them names also. But this one, that was the Pink Mafia who made them change that name. You, you couldn't be more wrong. Uh, there was a scandal, and it did involve homosexuality largely that led to the shift. The Boy Scouts are in a bankruptcy. They're in a reorganization, not a liquidation, but a reorganization bankruptcy to pay the 80,000 victims of child sexual abuse that much like the Catholic Church, the Boy Scouts actively sought often to, not all the time, but very often to cover up instead of protecting kids, they put their image ahead of the safety and sanctity of children. Overarchingly though, the, the Boy Scouts is something important, right? All kids nowadays, they're all just looking at their phones constantly. I read an interesting article about about kids that went, who love baseball, went on a field trip to a Major League Baseball game, I think in Minnesota, and at a school where their phones were always taken away from them. But they gave them their phones back at a parent request for the trip. These kids are at a game, they're doing other stuff, and the teachers noticed they were just on their phones the whole time instead of participating in life. Boy Scouts is a wonderful run organization, but everything has to evolve. When my son was in Boy Scouts, I worked all the time, right, all the time, 70, 80 hours a week, you know, just trying to make ends meet, get my business going, and my wife served as the troop leader, right, the pack leader, which was not allowed for years. In 2013, they had a shift in allowing uh, high school age kids that identified as gay to continue into it and achieve their Eagle Scout. Then they allowed uh, gay troop leaders as well. And, People cried. I believe you cried about it Hell way back yeah, when. Yeah, I cried. And the, and I don't want but, no homosexual well, gay troop the, leader why not? having sleepovers why not? with my why son. Not? Why not? I, no, 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 no. I don't want no gay male troop okay. leader taking and, my son into the woods and, with some sleeping see, bags calling that we going sleepover okay, hunting here you're and we going to be on an expedition. Okay. Hell no. And child sexual exploitation is uh, the frequency is the same, whether it's heterosexual or homosexual, right? What you don't want is you don't want child molesters, right? And what you do, which is evil, is you equate every gay person 
with a child molester. It's that's just, wrong. That's it's a, a lie. It's a, it's a, that's, that's what you just your did. Opinion. That's what you just did. Nope. You let me make it, just, let me make it crystal rewind. clear so you can quit lying. Yeah, okay. I am not against gay people being but, true. Let me finish. No, I just don't want them around my kids. Gay, gay troop leaders should be troop leaders for other gay kids. Why? Because Why? they are there Why to make them comfortable. As a important? father, I don't want no gay man on a sleepover with my son. Why I'm not? sorry. I don't want a pedophile. I don't want a child molester. Well, and I believe that not. all child molesting pedophiles should be punished by death. Okay. But I don't want no homosexual man taking my son into the woods and coming okay. up. We get our sleeping bags. We go out for a sleepover. But, now, you send your son. So, so what, I'm not but, sending but mine. But you okay with women doing it? With what? With women going along with the camping no, trips? No, I'm against that too. Okay. I'm against lesbian women taking young girls about, into the woods talking about a sleepover. I'm no, not, I'm, I'm against that too. I'm talking about women taking, as female troop leaders, taking boys out into the woods. Well, that's, that may be a little different. See, this is your homophobia. Here's now, wait a, a minute. Right, what you How? Be against, a straight what woman you, cannot hey, take some they, boys they, into the woods? There are plenty of straight men. You know how men. many single mothers there are have sleepovers straight, at their homes dealing with boys? You know how many single mothers raise? and help participate in sports that's for boys. There were plenty of straight men, straight men, that were taking boys out into the woods on the hospital. They the were not straight. They were, they, they were undercover kids, homosexuals. Right? And the thing is, Ain't no straight want, man gonna rape another you, boy what child. What you don't want it's, well, really, child molestation and rape is, is but far ain't no more about straight power man and violence trying to than have sex, sex with no male Here's the child. Truth. A male what you period. don't want is child molesters, right? And to equate all gay people with child molesters is evil. That's you did it twice. I'm not doing that. That's exactly what you're doing. You're not gonna label and me, brother. What we want, and what we want, scouting of America. Why we want this to still exist, right? They have no because, backbone. Because they no, they're taking they changed kids their out. name to be politically correct. Things evolve. This is the quote unquote liberal white woke if, movement if, that forced them to do that. People, white because people, the woke movement ain't black folks. White people that look at the incredible crime statistics in the black community and want to blame all black men for black crime they are racist. They're pigs. What's that got and to do just, with the boys? It's just of like men like you name. that blame gays for all child molestation. I don't believe that. That's what you just did. There are many heterosexual men who are good, in prison good for, who raped good, children. Good so all child for, molesters are not gay. I don't so, believe in that So lie. you just don't want any troop leaders at all? I didn't say that. Oh. I said you should have gay troop leaders how, how you gonna, over you gay a, troop of you young gay a, kids you a test? that are gay. What are you going to do? How are you going to figure it out? Ask them. Okay. And what if they are lie? Are you gay? What if they lie? Well, then if you're found to be lying, there's a consequence. Okay, the, well, what's the kind? The truth is, good for scouting, right? Good for being more inclusive, right? I always this love This is it. political when correctness you're, when going you're an, When you're anti-inclusive, but yet you also <laughs> live your life complaining about people that aren't inclusive. It's just hypocrisy. Charles, it's just your homophobia. To me, this is nothing more than political correctness. No. The movement led by liberal so-called woke this white folks. Them building that's a taking bigger America tent. to hell on a rocket ship with this political correctness. You're nonsense. Things need to evolve. The Boy Scouts are evolving. I do think there should be organizations that are gender specific, right? I don't think everything has to be all things to everybody, but the Boy Scouts had a real problem. And they're evolving and are addressing those issues. This little crybaby in Princeton that Quanell was fighting for, they are on a hunger strike and they're whining about being hungry. And if you ask most of these students about details about the conflict in Israel or even what the issues over there are October 7th, 90% of them have no idea what they're talking about. They're wearing Hamas and Hezbollah gear and they don't even know the realities of those organizations. Things need to change. People need to educate themselves and they need to figure out that really this is all just the war machine trying to keep everybody in angry and divided so we don't notice that our government sucks so much. And let's talk about Oprah Winfrey. What Oprah was doing was she was saying, I'm sorry I was a shill for fad diets. I'm sorry I was a salesman before I was a human and I didn't push healthy lifestyles. But when you have Quanell talking about cottage cheese and this, you know, we don't all have to be this, this picture of a perfect bodies. In fact, most images of perfect bodies are altered and photoshopped and not real at all. What we should all be doing is encouraging people to be healthy and to lead healthy lives, and that's what Oprah was doing. Ladies and gentlemen, if Oprah Winfrey was sincere, she would say, I'm giving back all that money that I made pushing the diet culture. 
I'm going to give it back to Weight Watchers and other sponsors and other groups she sponsored if she was truly sincere. That's a game. I also want to say this to the children and the young students who are protesting for freedom for the Palestinian people and an end to genocide. Continue to fight the good fight. History will vindicate you. Now, the Boy Scouts, let me say something. If you are a gay troop leader, well, then you can be over your own gay troop. I don't want to see my son as a Boy Scout and then when he, we, he, we go to drop him off and here come the troop leader. Hey, boys and girls, we're going in the woods to do marshmallows and we're doing hot dogs after that. Come on, boys. No, hell no. If you want to be like that, then you be over gay troop. I want a straight heterosexual man if he's going to take one of my sons or one of my nephews on a troop vacation or troop trip. I need a real man involved. I'm not with all that political correctness BS. I must speak the raw, unadulterated truth whether you like it or not. What mother <coughs> wants some lesbian women taking her daughter in the woods talking about we going for a sleepover? That's it for the face-off on Fox Soul. We'll catch you next time.